Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to convert units of pressure. This topic is very important for you to learn, especially when you are dealing with gases, like when you are solving ideal gas equation problems. And in this video, I put examples so you can practice some calculations. As what I've mentioned, in chemistry, pressure is usually associated to gases. So let's define first what is gas pressure. So what do you mean when you say the pressure of the gas? It is the force exerted by gas particles on the walls of the container. So let's have uh, an example, an illust illustration, so you can clearly visualize gas pressure. So let's say you have here a balloon. <laughs> Forgive my drawing. So let's say you have here a balloon, and you fill the balloon with air. And you know that air is composed of different gaseous particles. So you have oxygen gas, nitrogen gas, carbon dioxide, etc. So let's say these green circles are your gaseous particles. Now you know that these particles are mobile. They move around. At some point, these particles will collide onto the walls of the balloon. So they will collide onto the walls of the balloon. Now the force that each particle exerts on this area of the balloon is what you call the pressure of the gas. Again, the pressure of the gas is the force exerted by the gas particles on the surface of the wall of the container. Now let's move on to the different units of pressure. There are many units of pressure and I cannot enumerate them all in this video. So we will just talk about the most common units of pressure used in chemistry. We have here ATM or atmosphere, or MMHG or millimeters of mercury, bar, pascal, kilopascal, and PSI or pounds per square inch. Now below, I put here the equivalents. So this is very important. You need to memorize this. 1 ATM is equal to 760 Tor, which is equal to 760 MMHG, which is equal to 1.01325 bar, which is equal to 101,000, 325 pascal, which is equal to 101.325 kilopascal, which is equal to 14.696 PSI. So this right here, you need to memorize this. In case this is not given in your exam, you need to memorize these equivalents, okay? Now let's move on to example one. In all our examples, we will be using dimensional analysis in converting units of pressure. So if you're still not familiar with what is dimensional analysis, don't worry, I made a separate video about it and you can check it using the link on the description box. Now, assuming you already know what dimensional analysis is, let's proceed to example one. The pressure of a gas inside a cylinder is 656 Tor. What is its equivalent in KPA? So we are given this one, 656 Tor. And the problem is asking us to convert this into KPA. 
So the given is 656 TOR. And if you look at our conversion, which I told you to memorize, 760 TOR is equal to 101.325 kPa. So you put that into your conversion. 760 TOR is equal to 101.325 kPa. So what happens is that TOR will cancel and what remains is kPa. And if you solve this in your calculator, 656 times 101.325 divided by 760, this is equal to 87.5, approximately 87.5, and the unit is kPa or kilopascal. And this is the answer to the question. Let's move on to our second example. The reading in a barometer is 820 mmHg. Convert this to ATM. So we are given this, 820 mmHg or millimeters mercury. And we will convert this to ATM. So you always start with what is given. And then you multiply it by the conversion factor. And according to what I gave you a while ago, 760 mmHg is equivalent to 1 atm. So you put 760 mmHg below and 1 atm on top. So that the MMHGs will cancel and you are left with ATM. And if you solve this in your calculator, 820 times 1 divided by 760, this is equal to 1.08, approximately 1.08 ATM. And this is the answer to the question. Easy, right? I hope you got the correct answer. And for the final example, the pressure inside an inflated balloon is 19.5 PSI. What is the pressure in Pascal? So the given is 19.5 pounds per square inch, and we will convert this into Pascal. So you start with the given 19.5 PSI, you multiply it by the conversion factor, 14.696 PSI is equal to 101,325 Pascal. So you put 14.696 PSI below and you put 101 Three two five Pascal above, so that PSI will cancel. What remains is Pascal. And if you solve this in your calculator, nineteen point five times one o one three two five divided by fourteen point six nine six. This is equal to. 134,447, approximately, Pascal. And this is the answer to the question.